What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube and Grand Star Legion? Stormstriker69 here with an update for Grand Star Legion for the second half of 2024 and all of 2025 and pa partially also 2026 as well. Um so in this update i will be discussing things for storm singularity spooktoberfest and frosty winter bash all right coming up first will be storm singularity so what is up for storm singularity well I did a little refresher and facelift for my Storm Singularity logo, name logo. So it got a bit of a facelift slash remaster look. How does it look, guys? Do you like this look? It still looks similar to the old one, but, you know, now it's got a little bit of shininess to it. It still has the green outline that I had on it. Plus, inside the letterings... It still has what looks to be the galaxy that the galaxy background that was inside the font from before, but it's more it's a little more detailed. But at the same time, the background you're seeing for the update video is also going to be part of my storm my newest version of Storm Singularity for the rest of 2024 and 2025 into 2026. All right, and in Storm Singularity, I also got new overlays as well. So let me show you those. This first overlay will be for games that are meant for widescreen consoles. From the PS2 to the original Xbox, the GameCube, the Xbox 360, PS3. The Wii, um, the Wii U, the Nintendo Switch, the Game Boy Advance. It does obviously have a widescreen on the Game Boy Advance as well, so I will include that as well as the Nintendo Switch and, of course, PC games. I will also be including PSP as well on this overlay as well. Um... I will also be having separate a separate overlay for when I do games for the Nintendo DS and the 3DS as well. So yeah, it'll be a different overlay from this. And I will also be having an overlay for when I do games with this kind of screen where it's basically the resolution of 4.3. That will be from systems like the, the Nintendo Entertainment System. The Super Nintendo, the Sega Genesis, Sega Saturn, Sega Dreamcast. Although some of the Sega Dreamcast can go widescreen, so it could probably be on both. Did I say PlayStation 1? PlayStation 1. I will say it again if I didn't. You know, um, There are also some classic PC games that are also 4 or 3 that I could put in this as well. Nintendo 64 as well. Um, and yeah, also Game Boy and Game Boy Color, as well as Sega Game Gear. That is also going to be using this as well. So that's what this overlay is going to be used for. The classic games, or the games that are basically not widescreen. So yeah, hope you guys like the overlays. And now on to the next bit of... My update. So the next part of the update, I'm going to be discussing the games that I will be doing for Storm Singularity, or, or what's to come for Storm, or what's to come for Storm Singularity. So I may have already mentioned these before in the pat in past updates, or whenever I'm talking in my videos. So the games. As you know, I have a tracker to keep track of my games and stuff, you know, on a list. But I'm not going to name them all out all at once, so I will just say it like this. 
So the first one is the Batman series of games ranging from the Nintendo Entertainment System all the way to Xbox Series X. So yeah, that will also include Gotham Knights as well. And then I will also be doing the Tomb Raider, the Tomb Raider games. I did get, I did give permission for Mr. Fulcrum to do the classic Tomb Raider games, including the remaster for the Tomb Raider trilogy. So I gave that to Mr. Fulcrum. As you know, I already did Tomb Raider, Brides of the Tomb Raider, and Shadow of the Tomb Raider, as well as Tomb Raider 2013. Then I also have the the F Zero games are on my list still. I may bring back F Zero GX at some point. I really liked that game and had a nice reaction to whenever I said "retired" and things like that, other memes and stuff. And then also got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series games that are still there. I did a lot of them already for Storm Singularity in the past, but I will be bringing them back. And as you know. This one also ranges from the Nintendo Entertainment System all the way to Xbox Series X as well. So yeah. And then I also have the the Forza series is on here as well for Storm Singularity, as well as the Fallout series. That would be Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition, which I just recently finished for Summertime Splash and Storm Singularity together. And then I still got Fallout 4 Game of the Year Edition, as well as Fallout 4, Fallout New Vegas Game of the Year Edition, or Ultimate Edition, as well as Outer Worlds plus DLC, Starfield plus DLC, and all of those that I listed will also be having mods as well. Yes, Outer Worlds and Starfield has mods, so there you go. Cubics Robots for Everyone, all of the Hot Wheels games, SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. All of the Metroid games, that includes Metroid Prime 1, 2, and 3. Maybe Metroid Prime Other M. All of the Donkey Kong games. Again, like I said, all of the Metroid games. All of the Warhammer games, as well as Warhammer 40,000. All of those. All of the Kirby games, Beyond Good and Evil, Little Nemo, The Dream Master, Renegade Racers, all of the Terminator games, Under the Skin, Sonic Shuffle, I did that one already, Cannon Spike, I already did that as well, Godfall, Toxic Crusaders, all of the Ratchet and Clank game series, all of the Jack and Daxter game series, all of the Metal Gear series. UFO Robot Grandizer, The Feast of the Wolves, which I did, I already did that as well. Valphorus, Valphorus Mecha, Therion, Batsugan, Renegade, Battle for Jacob Star, and all of the Star Wars games as well. And that's the list from Storm Singularity. So, next up, I'm going to be talking about Storm's RPG Game Series. This is going to be coming back as well. So, yeah, I'm so excited to bring this one back. It's actually been three years since I did anything with Storm's RPG Game Series. And it will have the same overlay that I used in the past. It will not be changing. Although I may remaster it a little bit. So yeah. So for the RPG game series. Which will now be part of Storm Singularity. For that I've got Wizards and Warriors. Titan Quest Anniversary Edition. Tales of Symphonia. Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition, Shadows Awakening, all of the Dragon Quest games, Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance, all of the Boulder's Gates games, that includes Boulder Gates 3, all of the Torchlight games, again, all of the Star Wars games, that's Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2, Jade Empire, all of the Sacred games, that includes Sacred 1 and 2 Gold, 
all of the Diablo games, Diablo 1 Hellfire, Diablo 1 Plus Hellfire, Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction with Hero Editor, and that also includes Diablo 2 Resurrected, which is the remaster for that. Divinity, Divinity 2 Developer's Cut, which I have done before in the past, which was actually the very first one I did for RPG game series in the past. I may bring that back. Shadowrun Returns, Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood, which I did in the past, all of the Elder Scrolls games, Elder Scrolls 4, Oblivion, Game of the Year Edition, with mods. That'll probably be the Xbox 360 edition, by the way, Xbox 360 version. Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind, Game of the Year Edition, that will also be the Xbox version that I will be doing for that. Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim Special Edition, with mods, that'll probably be the PC version for that one, so I can have more mods. Blackstone Magic and Steel, which was an exclusive title for the original Xbox. I may do that one too. All of the Kingsfield games, Shadow Tower, Lost Kingdoms 1 and 2, Champions of Norath, Realms of EverQuest, Champions Return to Arms, Fallout Brotherhood of Steel, Destiny of an Empire, Emperor, Gargoyles Quest 2, Planescape Torment Enhanced Edition, Icewind Dale 1 and 2, Enhanced Edition and Complete Edition, both Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance games 1 and 2, Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition as well as Neverwinter Nights 2, Complete Edition, Space Hack, Dual Hearts, Odin Sphere, Dawn of Mana, Hellgate London, all of the Fallout games, which I just recently did Fallout 3 in the year edition for Summertime Splash, as well as Storm Singularity and the RPG game series all in one. But still got Fallout New Vegas, Ultimate Edition, and Fallout 4 Game of the Year Edition. I may also add Fallout 76 to this as well. That'll be a fun one to do, as well as Elder Scrolls Online. I will also be putting that on there as well. Those, those two could be something cool. I will also be adding Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis. I will be adding that to this as well. All right. And next up, I will be talking about Spooktoberfest. All right. This is a big topic, guys. As you can see, there's now a new logo for this is going to be for the later half of 2024 as well as 2025. So, yeah. The theme for Spooktoberfest for 2024 and 2025 will be dark crypts and skeletons. Basically, we could do any game we want in this one so it doesn't really matter what we do it could be any game but they may also have skeletons in those games so it could be like elder scrolls oblivion or skyrim or say you're playing fallout new vegas where there's got ghoul feral ghouls and stuff like that it'll be perfect for first Spooktoberfest because it it has all of that in there and also, a, you know, so yeah, I will probably be aiming on games that actually does include a lot of skeleton action where literally, you know, waving a mace and watching the bones fly and stuff like that. It'll be fun. Um, anyways, the games for Sp Spooktoberfest that, that are on the list for this will be Turok Dinosaur Hunter. Turok Evolution. The party games that consist of Mario Party, Mario Kart, Smash Brothers, all of which are consisting of playing as Luigi on those. Vampire the Masquerade Blood Hunt, Suffer the Night, Daymare 1998, Daymare 1994, Sandcastle. Doom 2016, Doom Eternal, Classic Doom 1, 
Doom 2, as well as Doom 64, and Ultimate Doom, also Brutal Doom as well. Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, that includes the Nintendo 64 version, the GameCube version, and the 3DS version. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 1 and 2, with a question mark. Pokemon Stadium with ghost type Pokemon only that stand, that goes for Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2 or any Pokemon game for that matter. It could be all ghost types or Pokemon that basically gives you the theme of Halloween. Mario Kart with Luigi. Dead Island Definitive Edition. Dead Island 2. Doom 3. Vampires Ate My Neighbors. Ah! Real Monsters! All of the Resident Evil games, Back for Blood, Left for Dead, Werewolf the Apocalypse Earth Blood, I may actually do that one this year, Doom 3 BFG Edition, Medieval, all of the Medieval games, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 coming soon, it's still not out yet. I got a feeling they're probably going to delay that game again. All of the Dark Souls games, including Elden Ring and Bloodborne. All of the Evil Within games, Vampire the Masquerade, Swan Song, Doom Eternal, Killing Floor 2 and 3, all of the Painkiller series, Brutal Doom 64, all of the Quake games, and there's a lot more to pick with this as well, but there's going to be a lot of shadow drops for these games. So that's what's coming up for Spooktoberfest. So I hope you guys enjoy what's to come. There's a lot to be expected. Lots of shadow drops, a lot of surprises, and probably stuff that's probably not going to be on this list. So yeah. I know a lot of you are like new to what me and Mr. Volcrum are basically doing for Grand Star Legion, but let's see about what do you want to see, see us play, you know? Um, you can always request a game too, and I can add it to the tracker, you know? Like, what kind of scary game do you want to see? What kind of RPG game do you want to see? Or classic game or modern game, you know? That's something we could do as well, you know, help out the viewer. What do the viewers want to see, you know? But yeah, anybody could do Spooktoberfest, not just me. So yeah, Starman 3 could do Spooktoberfest. Mr. Fulcrum could do Spooktoberfest. CD-ROM 1019, Rocky the Shadox, Jimmy Fire Firestorm. And anybody that wants to be a guest can also attend to this as well. So, yeah. Um, Spooktoberfest is going to be... I'm going to try to step up my game with the fear this time as well. Like I did last year. We'll see. Like I said, I'm going to be doing Werewolf the Apocalypse Earthblood. It's going to be a fun one. Um, I may also do... Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song as well. That one's a bit of a uh, mystery, murder-solving kind of game. Anyways, but yeah. Um, on to the next part of the of the up uh, of this update. So, all right, on to the next part of it. This is going to be with Spooktoberfest. Storm Striker Res X 9's Zompocalypse. Yep, this is going to be a part of Spooktoberfest, where I'm going to be bringing in zombie related games. And for this, for the zombie related games, I've got a fair amount here. It will consist of all of the Dead Rising games, all of the Dead. Island Games, Dying Light 1 and 2, Days Gone, Generation Zero, Back for Blood, Left for Dead, all of the Zombie Army games, Dead Effect 1 and 2, Once Human, 
all of the Resident Evil games, Control, Alan Wake 1 and 2, all of the Fallout games. That'll be perfect for this as well because of the Pharaoh Ghouls. All of the Elder Scrolls games because it does have zombies in it. So that is included as well. It also has skeletons, so it's perfect. All of the Vampire Masquerade games, Werewolf, the Apocalypse as well, will be added to this because I'm pretty sure there's zombies in that too. House of the Dead as well. I made even for a, for for giggles. I will probably even put typing of the dead on there as well. So who would like to do typing of the dead? So yeah, that's what's going to be put on Zompocalypse. Again, there will probably be shadow drops for this one as well. Where if I find any other games, I will be adding it to it. So yeah. Again, I can also receive requests for this as well. What zombie games have you seen that are that I have not brought up in this update? Let me know in the comments below. Even Starman 3 and Mr. Fulcrum or even CD-ROM 1019 can request me some zombie games to add to the list here. And a lot of these are also set for co-op as well. So, yeah. Or even power play. It could be more than two, up to four players. Anyways, also the same thing for Storm Singularity with the co-op adventures and stuff. All right, in the next part of the update, I will now be showing you the overlays that I will be having for Spooktoberfest. This one is for the normal thumbnail. The theme for this thumbnail is, well, I'm bringing back the blood that like I did back in 2020 and 2021 where I had the the blood out the blood outline on the thumbnail. But this time it's a little different. The background is basically a dark catacombs or crypt with dark candles and skeletons and bones and things like that basically looking like a mausoleum or a crypt or a catacombs the theme like i said the theme for spooktoberfest this year is dark crypts and catacombs and skeletons or skulls things like that but yeah we got the the normal thumbnail as well as the one for co-op co-op adventures or power play like we could, it does. Like I said, it doesn't have to just be me doing Spooktoberfest. Anybody, anybody can do it, not just me. All right, and also, I got one for whenever I do. I still have this thumbnail as well as I also have one for Zompocalypse as well. So yeah. It's similar to this, but a little different. And yes, I will be bringing back the bony Bowser as well. I like that bony Bowser. Anyways, that's everything that's going to be in this update. Hope you guys enjoyed. I may do an update for Frosty Winter Bash, but that'll be in another video. This one was mainly for Storm Singularity. RPG game series and Spooktoberfest with Zompocalypse. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to click the like button, comment below, share with your friends, add the favorites, or click that subscribe button, and also click the notification bell to know when we upload new videos. It helps out a lot, and I'll see you guys next time.